watched a monster movie, the big money shot for me was the monster. And in Japanese kaiju films, that's what it was about. That word, kaiju, means monster in Japanese. The kaiju is a classic Japanese genre. Giant beasts and monsters that have all kinds of different characteristics and shapes and sizes. Kaijus in Japan have many, many forms. And we wanted to stick to the basic groups of kaijus that would be based on life forms that exist on Earth. We tried to echo real animals. So we tried to echo a gorilla, we tried to echo a shark. If you can imagine a crocodile and a lizard, okay. Well, the lizard is the dinosaur and the crocodile is the kaiju. Huge, grotesque, much more fierce. They're just as good in water as they are on land, so they'll dive under the water and come up and break the ship in half. It's pretty brutal. The moment you saw them on the screen the first time, you knew that they were deadly. They were capable of destroying the Jaeger. One of the rules I gave to the Kaiju designers is I wanted to think how a man in a suit would fit in there. The Kaijus are trying to honor the spirit and the feeling of the classical kaiju. We are keeping them mostly two-legged, not humanoid, but sort of a silhouette that reminds you of those classical ones. And every week we would do an American Idol. Once we liked the kaiju and we logged into it, and we would eliminate silhouettes. The first way you can do scale is context. Within the kaiju itself, the texturing, when you go close, you see what looks like a scale, and then you go closer, and there's a bunch of bumps and cracks that give you the scale. If you do a close-up in a six-foot, seven-foot, eight-foot-tall monster, you know, you never get that close. You never get the sense of texture that you get with a kaiju. I think you're certainly gonna look at uh, Guillermo's kaiju and say they're, they're pretty damn cool. There's something very pure and very full of love in monster movies, even more so in kaiju movies. You just love the creatures. This movie speaks to the kid and me in a way that no other movie I've ever made does. Pacific Rim.